Welcome back in on EA Sports, and do not adjust your sets. That's our score, 27-7, to 7, a shocker thus far. And this has kind of turned into a classic trap game. And right now this offense searching for answers as they try to mount a comeback from a three-touchdown deficit. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. 
So here are the Bills to take over. They've got the lead here as they start out first and 10, trying to erase the memory of the loss last week. That came at the hands of the Jacksonville Jaguars. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Allen going to throw. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Returnable here for Davis. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll look to throw. Quick slant to Crowder. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. On the move to his left. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Now a first down carry by Bell. Bell so light on his feet. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. 85 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Touchdown, Jets. It's complete. Corey Davis, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jets are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. I'm 
obviously the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The Bills on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and four. Now Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And incomplete on the deep ball. Elijah Moore, the intended receiver, and it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. On second down now, it's Carter. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Well, let's check on the call. So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And that is incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. They run here with Singletary. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Singletary again. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. To the air. Allen. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Mikel Roby Coleman. And now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, a two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no, but the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. He'll drop to throw. And he's got to hook up to Moore. Two yards, good enough for a first. 
The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. On second down, a run with Carter. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Carter once more. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. The job one to pick up the first down is complete. That was a big third down conversion, but they got to watch the clock. It's starting to become their enemy a bit here in a two-score game. Which means they have to pick up the pace, right? The tempo has to be up. And what they do is they tell the quarterback in his, in his helmet, hey, listen, when we pick up the first down here, tell everyone we're going. We're moving now to two-minute offensive phase, and everyone on the bench area, they're waving them along too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They'll look to throw here on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Carter. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A throw to the flat for Carter. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Oh, and they had him stopped short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked like a clear face mask to me. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. They'll go to Piran, trying to pound it in. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. So, CD, things starting to get a little more interesting. Another touchdown to cut the deficit further. And remember, this was a 27-7 game at one point. So now momentum is totally changed, and I don't quite know why it took them so long to get it in gear. But obviously, they're not going to go down without a fight. And keeping in mind how important any game is this time of year to their playoff seeding, it's a game they can't really afford to lose. So here we go, 45 seconds left, and things have boiled down to this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it.
So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season... Each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And, you know, out of a 16-game season, if you get eight at home, let's at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right. A road win, precious, especially within the division. So for Buffalo, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they'll lose it. Hey, gotta give credit where it's due. They straight up outplayed us, but that was a pathetic effort on our end.